Atwater High School first opened in 1958. We have currently about 1,908 students, the biggest school in the district. We have very high-end AP students that do very well. We have students that struggle. We have a lot of students in the middle. So we serve a diverse community. I think as Common Core uh, approached in 2010, um, 2009, we really gave thought to, all right, what's that going to look like? And I think pretty soon we came to the conclusion that a one-to-web process was the way to go, to have the backbone of Google, all its applications, Google Classroom. What we experienced was a growth problem. We spent a lot of time on our wireless and our switches and our network of building and designing that piece. and then we would have the web filter would fail. When we were researching web filters at the same time, we were having a hard time with our firewall. So those kind of things drove us to the conclusion of, you know, let's see if we can put all this into one device and will one device meet our needs. I think the bottom line with um, uh, infrastructure is you want to provide the best opportunity for our staff uh, and our students. It's imperative that the system has capacity and security and uh, the flow of information is seamless. So we invited six different manufacturers in to look at what originally was web filtering. And we looked for about three weeks at different vendors stuff, their spec sheets, and then we really narrowed it down to two vendors that we really wanted to try a proof of concept with. And then really what it came down to was the amount of throughput that Fortinet could do was almost twice what the other competitor could do. The, the amount of time that we spent, I think, paid off, and I think we got the right fit with Fortinet. Students like it. They, they love it. They're on those, they're on those Chromebooks 24-7, and, you know, the funny thing is they weren't in their textbook 24-7, so they're going deeper, and they're getting more perspectives, and I think that's where young kids struggle a lot is seeing things from other perspectives. Well, I think I become more independent because of it. If I'm not understanding what the teacher's saying or the topic, I have the tools to, you know, search it up myself or go more in depth into the topic. When we look at one to web we kind of consider it as it's a lump of clay. We're continually molding it so that that way it can meet our educational needs for our students. It's not just about content. It's about a skill set that students need to leave high school with, and technology is one of the biggest. I think that our kids will leave Atwater High School more technology savvy. There's not a job out there that's not going to have some sort of technology involved in being able to use applications and do research and the fortitude it takes to keep searching, and um, consequently they get better grades.